Welcome back to another installment of Chrissy TV. I'm coming at you live today with a story about how the folks had Chrissy messed up on today. No, just kidding. But we're about to head to Target. We're about to go to Target. <laughs> Actually about to head to Hampton, first of all. But on the way to Hampton, I'm gonna stop at the Target in Fredericksburg. And this time around, we're not just going for the vibes. I actually have a list of things that I need to pick up, including an SD card, because this past week I've been switching between three different SD cards, which is causing a slight, just a slight bit of anxiety. I'm putting one SD card in there, filming, and then it gets full. So I'm like, okay, let me get the other SD card. And then that one's already full. So then I got to release the, yeah, it's a mess. So it is Mother's Day weekend. And tomorrow we're supposed to go on horseback riding. Now the weather is looking a little iffy. It's looking a little iffy. It's supposed to storm, it says. But y'all know how the weather be. Like, it'll say one thing, do another. So hopefully that's the case for tomorrow. And the weather holds off so that we can actually go horseback riding. On Sunday, I'm going to be headed back up here. Because y'all know, on actual Mother's Day, it just... Everything is hectic and I don't think any of us have the patience to, to deal with Mother's Day shenanigans on Mother's Day. Alright, see you at Target. Yeah, I'm a vlog while I'm in this Target, so I will stay on the phone with you, but about to run up in there and see what they got going on up in there. All right, love, I'm gonna call you on Sunday. me i definitely should have got a card the sd cards are not locked away praise the lord because i thought i was about to have to be back here trying to rip the paper to get the sd card off of the hook so perfect all i do is grab this and go i think i'm about to head out target has some cute stuff today y'all and i didn't even look in like the home decor beauty section none of that i just looked at the clothes and then i grabbed this sd card real quick and i ended up getting this um how many gigabytes 128 gigabyte i'm gonna have to go to the house and try all of that stuff on because the dressing rooms were closed so now let me see if there's a chick filet me because my stomach is growling y'all i'm gonna get home so late it's probably gonna be close to midnight by the time i get back to the house Ooh, they close at 10 and it's only 1.7 miles away okay and i can't see Everything is foggy. I didn't think it'd be this many people here since it's later in the day. I honestly thought it was gonna be a real quick in and out. Boom, boom, boom. It's a lot of folk here. We'll have two hours left in this drive. I'm not looking forward to it, but this food should make it better. Mm -hmm. I like driving and eating at the same time. I just ordered my food. I got a medium fry and a 12 count nugget because I'm hungry. I should have really done the eight count, but <laughs> you know when you are hungry and you're ordering food, you always get more than what you need or what you would have gotten if you weren't um, hungry. I feel so bad for these um, Chick-fil-A uh, folks working out here tonight because it's raining. It's not cold, which is good, but it is rainy. And they standing out here with their hoods on in the rain taking people's orders. I feel so bad for them. I'm so bored. I know when I'm eating, I'm not going to be bored, but I know as soon as I'm done eating, I'm going to be bored again. What's another word besides bored that I can use? I'm tired of saying bored now. I'm bored with saying bored. It's so interesting that I'm vlogging right now like I have a camera sitting on the dashboard do y'all ever just sit around and just think of like little just little stuff you have like little epiphanies that's what I just had a little epiphany and I'm really sitting here with a camera in front of my face I secured the bag shoot these fries mmm these are good where is the exit this glare out here is something vicious I feel like I'm blind everything is just so glary marvelous do y'all really sit and count y'all nuggets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Y'all, I'm trying to get me a bus down. 
I really want to bust down middle part. 1B, 24 inches. Ooh, that's about to be cute. I cannot wait. Guys, not a whole hurricane. It's lightning and then and then and then. It's raining and then and then and then. You gotta exaggerate the words to really give y'all the full effect. Like, it's vicious out here. Wow. Y'all see? Mmm. Saturday, so I'm about to take my hair down first of all. So as y'all saw, I just got out of the shower and I wanted to show y'all the stuff that I got from Target really quick. These are the shorts that I picked up. I think these fit perfectly. I think that these are very good pool shorts. Like if you're wearing a bathing suit, you just need to cover your bottom half up. But I will also probably style these up as well. So it's a no for me, dog. I don't know what this card is doing to me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I love these. This is just, this is perfect. My goodness, I'm so glad I stopped in Saudis. These are everything. Love, 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 love. You cannot tell me these are not the cutest little short ever, y'all. And the artwork is not even stretching out. Like the artwork still looks very much, you know, what is the word, saturated? I don't know. It still has its full color. Y'all know sometimes when stuff gets stretched out, it loses its color, but no, these, they are so cute. I don't know if y'all can tell, but they are a little tight right here, but otherwise they fit perfectly. These literally fit perfectly. Oh my goodness. Janae, aren't these cute? Oh, those is tough. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get those from? From Target. Come on. <laughs> this is the last thing that I got from Target. Y'all, this is too tight. It's, it's definitely hugging. I think eventually I'll be able to fit into it, so I'll probably keep it. Cause I like how it's cropped. The extra large was a little longer. So it would have fell maybe like right here as opposed to actually falling right on my waistline. So cute, cute. So y'all, I just finished my skincare and I think I'm about to do a little bit of makeup. Like I was telling y'all, it's supposed to rain. And if it does rain, I don't want to have on a full face of makeup and it's dripping down my face. That's dead. So I think I might do some concealer, maybe some eye stuff and then call it a day. Um, as far as my outfit, I guess I'll show you that when I'm done with my makeup. I'm being rushed out of the house, but what's really new for the makeup, I just did some concealer. I put some under eye stuff on and then I did a little blush. I really haven't even looked at it, so I don't know. I might take my makeup bag with me in case it doesn't look right, but this is the scent we're wearing, Spicy Mimosa. This is my first time wearing it. Ooh, this smells so good. I guess this is what I'm aware. It's really giving nothing, but I thought I had my outfit done, ready, picked out, but obviously did not look right. So. You know you hungry when you pull up to McDonald's. Okay. I don't even eat at McDonald's. <laughs> Y'all, the total was only $18. $20 for three meals is good though. Cause when I went to Panera, my whole meal, one meal was $20. We all got nuggets and fries, I'm but. Sure So it looks like we're about to pull up to the horse riding place. It's 12.53, we're supposed to be here I think 15 minutes early, so we're a little late, but it's real country out here. Nothing but one house every two miles. <laughs> Cornfield. But um, I was informed that I can't bring my camera in. Guess you said we can't bring our phones in either, right? Right. Yeah, so we gotta leave everything in the car, so. I'll let y'all know how it goes once we're done. looks like y'all there's the horses over there hopefully I get a black stallion but we'll see this place is called K's K's Acres so we just finished horseback riding y'all it was really fun it was really fun I'm gonna talk to y'all more about it once we get in the car but they also have a petting zoo out here so they got roosters that's Miss Sally right there that's Mr. Jones Mr. Jones what you doing sir and they have like a little petting zoo over here so I wanted to show y'all how you can feed the animals. All oh, this reminds me when I was a kid coming to the zoo. So these are the goats. What's going on, Mr. Goat? How you doing today? Miss May, you best stay right there now. Don't try to follow me. You got little pigs. Oh, he's chilling. Oh, the babies. 
That thing got a mug on it. Okay. But the babies. Oh. I wonder what kind of pig this is. Do y'all know? We got any pig lovers in the building? Little horsies. I don't think. I don't know what that is. A llama? Uh-uh. You are you getting a little close, honey. Wait, wait a minute now. They're nice. They won't bite. Okay, I just gotta make sure because the beak's real sharp. So yes, my horse's name was Boston. And me and Boston really had a thing going on. I told her, I was like, a front, Boston. My name's Christina, okay? Now, don't be acting a fool when I get on top of you, okay? And she obliged for the most part, but she was acting up a little bit. Just a little bit. And I guess the horses are really used to the trail, so they pretty much knew where to go and everything. I asked if we could actually, like, ride the horse to where they were, like, running. But they say you have to take lessons for that because... You know insurance purposes that can be dangerous or whatever so i had to talk to boston though a lot during the ride because boston was being a bully to one of the horses and then she tried to she kept trying to eat the vegetation and stuff so i had to pull her her head the other way but overall boston was a good horse she just you know she a little defiant but i really enjoyed myself that was very fun very relaxing um because it's mother's day weekend mm. so of course you know Y'all, this place has not changed since the early 1800s, I'm trying to say. I mean, not saying I was here. I don't know what it looked like back then, but, you know, it just seemed as if. It used to be a crocus spot in Norfolk, but they closed it during the pandemic, which really crushed my heart because I'm a crocus spot stand. I love crocus spot. Oh, I forgot I'm on hold with Navy Federal Child. Okay, bye, y'all. Okay, perfect. So Crocus Spot has an hour and a half wait. So we just walked right across the street to this malt shop. So we're going to, I guess, get some ice cream. Like we always do with this time. I go for mine. I get the shine. Let's throw your hands up in the sky. Yo, go for mine. I get the shine. Let's throw your hands up. What did you get, Mom? I got um, what a pecan and whatever this truffle, raspberry truffle is. Southern blackberry cobbler. Actually, it's good. <laughs> got a sherbet milkshake, and Janae got the cookies and cream with extra cookies. Cheers. Yeah, I made me Taste it. You try it. This is butter pecan and blackberry cobbler. This is crazy good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm traumatized because the last time we was a program spot in Norfolk, we went there and it was closed. <laughs> you ever? I was like, yo, where did they close this one? I was really nervous. It's working. I love that high ceiling. This is quite the moment. Honestly, I'm just so happy to be here. It's been like two years. Who didn't know when to get $21? Thank you. Thank you. food for the mom oh nice. mm, that food was good nice. let me tell you about that experience though because i think i already mentioned the wait was about an hour and a half just to sit down the waitress took about 15 minutes to actually come ask us like what drinks we wanted and take our order so once she took our order it took i would say an additional about 45 minutes to an hour to actually get the food so now it's what seven o'clock I think uh, about, yeah. yeah so overall i think we left horseback riding at three no around two yeah we got two. here around three four overall this was about a four and a half five hour endeavor but yeah but it was real cool though definitely worth the wait but now we're headed back 
um, to the house. How therapeutic to me. Mm-hmm. I meant to... I'm in love with these black swimsuit figurines. So cute. I like this one the best, but I don't know where I would put it though. And they have these as well with the yellow swimsuits. I cannot, I simply cannot. I love this one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the remainder of your day. All right, you do the same. Y'all, there's a TJ Maxx over there, but I'm not even gonna do it. I'm gonna be good today and get back in this car. All right. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. So I am actually headed back to Maryland right now but on the way I'm going to be stopping at various home goods so this was a home goods in Newport News and I'm going to pretty much just make today a home goods day and as y'all saw we celebrated my mom yesterday so today I am headed back to Maryland I think they're still going to do something tonight as far as like my cousins my aunt and my sister and my mom are going to all do something i've been wanting like legit coffee table books because right now i just have magazines on the coffee table but coffee table books are so expensive and i'm just like oh i'm gonna find it on sale at the thrift store oh i'm gonna find it for you know of uh, 50 percent off but no that has not happened so i'm just like let me just buy one full price so i got the harper's bazaar one there was also a vogue one in there but i guess i just like the colors on the harper bizarre book more so that's the one that i ended up getting i really want like an essence or a jet or something that is just you know for the culture uh-oh uh-oh hi yes can i have a cookout tray please i've been eating horrible this weekend went to had mcdonald's i don't even do mcdonald's Hey, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Croker Spot, Cookout? Who am I? Yo, what is going on? It's below. Now, we do do the five-second rule. That chicken, how many things you're doing right now? I love entirely having to get gas. All right, guys. Let's make this quick. I don't know why as soon as I put up to the gas station, I'm starting to feel sleepy. I'll just make gas ten dollars. Just make it fifteen, twenty dollars. Why not? We gonna go big, go big. Goodness gracious. So I just found another Home Goods that is in Fredericksburg, I believe. So I just added a stop on my GPS. What do y'all think about people cutting one another off while they're speaking? Because I honestly, honestly, truthfully, that's not something that I personally experienced really until I got to college. And I was like, yo, people really just be talking legit in a whole thought. And somebody will chime in and say, oh, did it, did it, did it, did it. They, they weren't done. I don't, it doesn't, it does not compute in my mind. That does not compute. It makes no sense to me how you could be so rude <laughs> to cut somebody off while they're talking. I don't, you know, but anyway, what do y'all think? What's y'all opinion? I don't know. For me personally, I'm a listener. I would much rather listen to what somebody is saying than to talk. So that's why for me, if somebody talks over me while I'm speaking, I don't want to talk. I don't I don't want to speak to you anymore. <laughs> okay, I've heard enough. Thanks. Bye. I forgot to tell y'all when I got it at Home Goods. One of the ladies in there who worked there, she asked me if I was okay or if I needed anything. She asked me like four times, like legit four times. When I first walked in there, she said, hey, are you finding anything? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine, thank you. I have nowhere to put it. <laughs> yes, I am, thank you. Okay, boom, fine. Went into the candle aisle. Here she comes. Hey, 
Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Are you finding everything fine? And then she looked over at me and she was like, oh, like, yeah, you already asked me this question. Now I'm ready to check out. She rings me up. Hey, did you find anything? I'm good. I can't complain. I did. I did. Thank you. Can you please get my items? Just please get my items. I went in there maybe an hour after they opened. So I understand throughout the day you become robotic because you talk to so many people, or whatever. But the day just started. Like it's fresh and you're just, you're already a robot. Uh oh. You know when you see one of these big signs with all of these stores listed, you know it's about to be a problem, okay? Y'all, this is the Home Goods. It looks small, but maybe it'll be small but mighty. We shall see. This is a book end. I love this. It's so cute. Thank you. You too. All right, y'all. So that was a quick one, too. I think we're just going to head back to the house. But y'all, don't hold me to that. We may or may not end up in another store. You never know. Oh, let me go to DSW real quick. Ooh, Olive Garden is off the chain. Y'all going to Olive Garden today? Because Olive Garden has a line. A car line outside of the parking lot, yeah. Why my battery about to die? Y'all, one thing about this ZV-1 camera is that the battery life is mm, questionable. I don't know how to feel about these shoes. I feel like they're so cute, so different, but would I really wear them in real life? They also kind of big on the ankle too. I would get these if they were cheaper, but there's really no guarantee that I'm ever gonna wear these, so I don't wanna spend that much for a maybe shoe. So these shoes were only $35, I had a $5 discount and then they were additional 40% off the price. We love a good deal. So there's a Pottery Barn outlet right next to DSW so I decided to walk in here real quick. There's nothing in here that I need but you know when in Rome. <laughs> Brussels take an additional 50% off ticketed price and they're $3.49. Chocolate leather bar stools. Hmm. These are cute. Four twenty nine, fifty percent off that price. Hmm okay. My sweatpants are humongous. What in the world? Anyway, this mirror is $349. You're supposed to take an additional 50% off everything in the store. But I still think that's an OD price for that mirror. Ooh, I love this. I love it. I love it. I wonder can I take it down? Let's see if I can take it down. Oh no. It's locked on it onto the um frame or whatever. Oh, she's cute. That is too cute. I actually love that. I could definitely see that in my future home, for sure. Oh, I like that, I like that. Y'all, this is window shopping at its finest. <laughs> I have no intentions to buy anything. Ooh, this is cute. It looks like something in the thrift store though, for real. It's all beat up. I must say it's $70. Y'all so crazy. <laughs> so this is a huge Monopoly board, and it is. Yeah, let me get on up out of here. Oh, we all right. I'm tired of being out. I'm about to head back to the house. I need to stop at Wawa. Why am I pulling this mask up? I need to stop at Wawa to get some money out. I gotta stop at the ATM, but I'm doing all of this. It's almost three o'clock. Why am I still out here at three o'clock? Y'all know when you're in the mood to shop, but then you start shopping and the mood to shop releases itself from your body. Yeah. I'm no longer in the mood to shop. It's hot. Why is it so hot? Why is it so hot? Why is it so hot today? One thing about me is I will take all my stuff home, evaluate my purchases, and then proceed to take everything back. I feel like it's better to pick up the item. Even if you're unsure about it, it's better to pick it up than to leave it and then want it. And of course, my phone says that it's offline. Because why wouldn't it be? T-Mobile. I'm going to need y'all get y'all service together. My phone really is not loading. 
Honey, what did I do to you, babe, that you feel you need to treat me this way? Okay, wait a minute, because Wawa's gas was 426, according to my Google Maps, and BJ's gas was 421. So now, BJ's, you're only giving us four cents off? Is that what we're doing now? You just tell me I pay an annual fee to get cheaper gas, and you only give me four cents off? Mm-mm, I don't like that. Sorry, y'all, the camera was blurry because it was focused on the steering wheel, but I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I'm gonna need to get my 20 cents, my 10 cents off per gallon, please. Thank you. Or otherwise, I'm reneging my membership. Okay, BJ's? Y'all hear me? Babe. so we're back and um y'all outside was hectic today it was hectic i was not expecting so many people to be outside just like in stores it was people in every aisle <laughs> when i went to dsw there's people on every aisle so yeah anyways i made anthony a little cocktail as y'all saw i wanted to try out that blueberry lavender flavor infusion stuff so um he said it was good he said it tastes like there's sugar in it but it says that it's zero um zero sugar i mean of course it's like sugar alcohols but it's like zero calories zero sugar and all of that so would you recommend it babe would you get the fl the flavor infusions again yeah i have to angle y'all downward a little bit because as you can see it took my hair out and i have not washed it or anything so it looks a mess but i just got a package for pieces of her and I ordered um, a fragrance sample. I ordered Gypsy Water and I also ordered Burberry Her. Wasn't really wild by Burberry Her, but Gypsy Water is a very complex scent. And when I was smelling it, I was like, let me try to guess what notes are in this scent because it just seemed like there were so many different complimentary notes and it really seems like they took their time making this scent so i was smelling it and i was like there's definitely some citrus in here like the top notes have to be some type of fruity something then i could also tell that there was some type of woody something in there because the scent overall smells woody i was over here doing like this hmm that must be da da da, da. and then mm, but see then there's that in there too i really think i'm an amateur scent connoisseur you know what I'm saying? I'm self-proclaimed. Cause I love smelling scents and trying to like guess what's in there. I've never smelled the original Gypsy Water, like the actual Byrito or whatever you pronounce it, perfume. But of all the fragrance oils that I've gotten, they've always smelled like identical to the actual perfume. So I'm sure that this one smells just like the actual, actual perfume itself. So it smells so good. Honestly, it reminds me of incense. It's a very sophisticated scent. Like I said, it very much reminds me of incense, like very much so. So yeah, I would definitely say it's like a nighttime fragrance. I'm excited to actually wear it out and you know, pair out with it and all of that jazz. I did go ahead and place the Harper's Bazaar book right here. I have to figure out how to style this book on this coffee table because right now, I mean, you know, it's really doing nothing. But I took it out and she was like, dang, that book is humongous. So yeah, it is pretty big, but I absolutely love it. And this as well, I just have it sitting right next to the couch. And as y'all can see, I put my magazines in it. It is kind of small though, so it's pretty much already full. I can probably fit maybe two or three more magazines in there. But yeah, so the overall look of it is really nice. The actual like usability of it mm, is questionable because it is kind of small, but. And lastly, we have to paint over this. We took down, there was like a shelving unit up here um, and we took it down, so we like, filled in the holes and whatnot but we have to paint over that so anyway in the meantime i just hung i hung this wall art right here and then there's that one that i had already had right there oh my goodness y'all so i actually just looked at the fragrance notes for gypsy water i looked at them previously like right after i was done smelling the scent just to see what the notes were but i glanced at it i didn't really look i only really saw the base notes but i looked again and it said the heart note is incense like, I smelled it off bad. I knew that there was incense in there. And then I checked the site, and there actually is incense in there. I just think that's cool, because like I told you, I love guessing these scent notes. And I actually got them right. Hmm. But anyway, I'm looking so viciously hit right now. So let me go ahead and hear it and close this vlog out, okay? Yes, thank you all so much for watching. As always, y'all growing. So make sure that you go ahead and subscribe so that you can be among the first 1,000 subscribers. I hope that y'all have a good week, and I will catch y'all on my next one. Peace. Ooh, that joke scraping the crap out of my foot. It's good. It's on. It's recording. Oh, so I was just going to let y'all know. If y'all do come out here, this gravel, do not wear a heel. Because your ankles will bend. Okay?
Oh, that thing scared me a little bit. Y'all, that scared me a little bit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Go ahead. You beep that horn. I see you. Just because you can't drive to me, I don't know what I'm doing, buddy. Mm, Y'all be trying to let folks over. I'm gonna get over regardless. Oops, I just ripped the thing off. My bad. Perfume is smelt. What? Ooh, my arm is on fire. Woo, wee. Cha. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Take a breath. Slowly, but. Oh. Of course, somebody's calling me. I'm trying to do my outro.